First up on the menu, we have the killer wraps, the good man macros, six pieces in here, whole grain, um, what are the macros? 45 carbs, seven fat, six fiber, nine protein. Solid six pieces, total of 370 grams. I'm gonna be using these to make like wraps and stuff, mainly for like snacking, um, like midday, you know, like after I've had breakfast and I worked out and I'm like, you know what, I want a bit of lunch. Make like a tuna wrap, egg wrap. Sometimes you get like, like what's gonna roast beef and a bit of cheese with lettuce and all that good stuff, you know, you can just fill it up with some good man, vitamin, spinach, all that goodness. Um, so yeah, this is a good investment. And it was cheap as well, it was like eight kroner for one packet, which was on sale. So I was excited to buy two because they don't expire until July. So yeah, <laughs> might as well, right? I should have bought more packets, but yeah, maybe when I go down later on, I might buy a bit more, but that's number one. Next thing we got is oats. We have the good man oats up in here, as you can see. Um, yeah, oats are oats, not much really for me to say. Um, it's like a staple when you're, when you're a bodybuilder and just overall good for fiber, keeping you full for a solid amount of hours and very low in calories as well. Um, great fiber, great protein, great source of carbs and yeah, limited ingredients, only one ingredient. So <laughs> nothing bad about that. There you have it. That's number two. Next up, we've got the Deli Delis, which of course they're very high in sodium. Um, so be careful of these. You don't want to eat this every single day, but yeah, it's good to get like that extra source of protein. Not so much fat in these. First, we have Salkul, um, which is like, I don't know how to explain it. Um, it's, it's, it's a beef fillet type of situation. Um, macros, 22 protein, 1.7 fat and the salt is 2.4 grams so that's part 100 grams though the whole thing is 120 so if you're taking like one or two of these a day it's just extra protein um and the whole thing is around 100 and, 135 calories this whole thing so that's not much calories and if you're adding two of these into your like wrap and stuff it's not bad roast beef i don't even say much about roast beef fat is 2.1 so it's a bit higher than this one protein 19 what the yeah even so this is better than roast beef right now <laughs> this salad is better than roast beef but just want to give myself options and then we got the chicken breast which is of course 19 protein a little bit of carbs um salt as well salt's high but again ingredients not that many ingredients a few e numbers because obviously to keep it preserved for so long um but yeah and my brother eats these as well so why not Next up, we've got some frozen and bread berries. Um, that I'm gonna start adding these to like my oats in the morning. So blueberries, and I've got a mixed one as well. Um, organic, I'm not really fussed with the whole organic and not organic. I'm not one of those ones that's like, oh, it has to be organic. I don't know about you guys, maybe you are. But yeah, they were the same price. So I just got both, more options. And yeah, just start adding them into my oats, get the fruits and stuff i don't really i'm not really one for fruits i don't eat that many fruits during the day or in the week actually if you see my full day of eating that i uploaded i didn't have any fruit like i don't eat bananas apples all that i don't really eat fruit um berries are like the only thing that i normally eat so yeah blueberries and a mixed one next up we've got my pasta not mainly for myself but um i just bought it because obviously i cooked a spaghetti bolognese here if you can see boom 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 that's gonna be my main meal today. But yeah, we bought diff two different pastas. We got spaghetti, we got fusilli. fusilli. Um, my brother likes to mix both of these when he's making pasta. I'm more of a spaghetti guy, but every now and then I add this one. Um, but yeah, pasta is next up on the list. After that, we got some yogurt, milk, and wait. Ooh, I forgot this one. I got the turkey deli meat as well. So chicken, got turkey, options. Um, here we've got some cheesy, this is basically low fat um, yogurt, high protein and okay carbs. This one as well, this is just flavored. 
pear and banana it's like the best like this household this is what we like the most <laughs> this one's awesome and then you've got some milk medium fat yes 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 some cheese good man cheese a honey if you want to add it to some things carbs and just sugar but it's better than actual sugar sugar i don't know some people are like ah, there's not much difference it's just you know but honey if you want to add it to your tea and all that stuff even though i drink tea without honey but i just bought it because the people in this house use it you know <laughs> not myself mainly but yeah the og you know if you're if you're doing a diet on a budget having canned tuna is essential <laughs> um i don't eat tuna that much my brother is on on his grind right now you know he's trying to put in a little bit of size so i was like you need to start eating tuna with some pasta and rice and all that stuff and it's not expensive pretty cheap it's like eight krona per piece so yeah i bought three of those um should last him like i think he uses like one a day um and i might take one myself depending on how i feel um, but I already have like my meals prepped for the week uh, but yeah that's that and then oils we've got two oils we've got olive oil which is what I use and this is wraps oil which is what my brother uses to make his stuff and that um, but yeah I'm an olive oil guy so yeah I like to stay away from oils just because it's just extra calories when for me when it comes to diet and key I would look for is oven think oven all the time can i bake it can i bake it can i grill it that's the things you should be thinking when you're on a diet um don't get me wrong sometimes you like olive oil if you're making fried eggs put a bit of olive oil on your pan it's not going to do the biggest damage but if you can avoid those like extra 100 calories 150 calories it's still going to make a difference in the end but yeah that's it but there you have it hopefully you guys enjoyed that little shopping with musa i'm um, showing you guys what i get today is a sunday so you know just stocking up on things um throughout the week it varies you know you might need something something might be finished like milk and stuff like that that finishes pretty fast um but like oats pasta stuff like that might last a little bit longer um but you can see everything is pretty much one ingredient two ingredients um labeled on each of these things there's not like everything nothing nothing's really like crazy processed um so you really want to avoid processed processed food pasta yes you know there's a lot of mix and stuff but yeah it's not as bad as it could be um and everything in moderation you know what i'm saying but yeah thank you for watching and i will catch you guys in the next video love life love life love life peace